So um, this is QA uh, for question and answer. He's our telepresence robot. Um, let's see. <coughs> yeah, so let's start him up. So Dan's going to start him up over there. Um, maybe, Dan, can you just wave really quickly? So basically, um, the idea is with this robot that you can teleport your presence anywhere in the world. So right now, Dan is over there controlling the robot. He's the one who is waving. Um, but Dan could be anywhere in the world. He could be um, uh, controlling this robot from Japan or uh, from New York or something like that. So. Um, Basically, let's say you're like the, the CEO or corporate, corporate executive of some company and you have a warehouse in New York, but you live in San Francisco um, or even a warehouse in Singapore or something like that. You can't travel to Singapore every week to check on your warehouse and make sure that the people who are working for you are doing it the way you want them to do or to get to know them um, personally or brainstorm with them. It just it takes too much time to fly there. It takes too much money. Uh, most companies can't afford to do that more than a couple times a year. Um, the idea is with this, um, instead of flying there, you send QA there uh, for you. You log into the robot wirelessly through the internet, just like Dan is doing, um, and then you can talk to people through this robot. You can go anywhere in the company. You can go to the machine shop and talk to the machinist. You can go to the water cooler and talk to the secretary. Um, you can crack jokes with people that normally you'd only see once a week or something in a video conferencing room where you're trapped and they have to come to you. Um, uh, it's got right here, Dan can see me through a camera in its neck and whenever you get a chance you can come by the booth on that big monitor right behind Dan. You can see <laughs> yourselves actually, uh, which is what the robot is seeing through this camera. It's a five megapixel camera. Um, so he can see you, he can hear me through microphones all over his head um, and he has a speaker mounted under here so I can say, Dan, how are you doing today? Oh, we, we lost audio. So basically, we're having wireless problems because there's 75 networks that are talking to each other over this convention, as you can kind of imagine. Um, but, but come by our booth later, and we've had this up and running for three days now. Um, you can basically talk back and forth through this robot. Um, we also have right here, uh, as you can see, a visual aid. So we've got a picture of Dan up there so you can see what he looks like. Um, but this could be a live feed uh, of your face so you can see the emotions of a person through the robot. Uh, it could be, um, oh, he's changing it around, so I don't know if you can see this, but you can put up any picture you want on there. And it's a touch screen, so anything you can think of to do with a touch screen, you can do that. Um, he's got a map of CES up here, so if you get lost, come by and the robot can help you find your way around. Um, it also has a laser pointer here in its neck. So like, let's say that I, you know, have this new product that I want to show my boss overseas, and I'm, I'm talking to him like this, and I'm showing him this picture, and I'm saying like, what do you think about this product, um, or this picture? He can lose the laser pointer to point out like, oh, I like this section of the pro uh, you know, of this picture, but I think it should be moved over here, that kind of thing. So he can show you exactly what he's talking about. Um, he also has um, a camera mounted in the back of his head for backing up, so he can switch views um, to back up, just like on the screen, you can see he's looking at the back screen now. Um, my favorite part about that camera and the, the camera in the back of his head is that you can't go behind him and go, neener, 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 like I would kind of want to do, you know, to the boss or something like that. Um, he also has right here a, a bending joint so he can, he can sit down carefully. So like, let's say uh, for some reason you lose power. Um, this robot has a, a separate power supply in it so that instead of just dropping and falling over, uh, he self-balances for 10 minutes and then he carefully sits down just like he's doing on his haunches um, on the back of uh, right here. Um, also, the bending down, he can look at things that are on the ground. Um, so he's got a really wide range of, uh, of view, basically. Um, let me think what else. Do you guys have any questions or anything? Maybe you can raise your hand. How much is it? Oh, so the, the reason he has the 
two eyes is kind of just for looks. It's, it's kind of so that you can feel like you're talking to a person a little bit. Um, and we think it, I think it looks really cute, <laughs> actually. Um, uh, this robot, I, uh, no, not 3D. No, not at this point. Um, it's a five megapixel camera, though, so you can take still. Uh, we we want to develop the capability to take still photographs or record what you're seeing, that kind of thing. Um, I heard somebody else ask, how much does this cost? So this robot right now, we think we estimate the cost to be about thirty thousand um, dollars. We're looking for manufacturers to start mass producing it with, um, but uh, or to start mass producing these robots, and then we expect the cost will go down by quite a bit. Um, For investors, we're we're a company out of Mountain View, California, and we're called AnyBot, and we've been around since 2001. And actually, the founder and CEO of this company is right here. This is Trevor. You can say hi, Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Yeah, thank you. Um, so basically, the goal of our company is to have a robot in every house, and this robot is uh, actually debuting, making his debut here at CES. So you are the first people to ever see this robot. Um, you are the people who get to go home and blog about us, tell your friends about us, be the cool first people to have ever seen this robot, um, and be on the cutting edge of what's coming for um, electronic devices. A rather big one, but... <laughs>